Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install the Mechanism mod in Minecraft 1.15.2. We're also going to be installing the kind of like addition mods to this mod because Mechanism itself is pretty cool and it adds a bunch of stuff to the game, but you've also got these Mechanism Edition, Mechanism Generators, and Mechanism Tools mods that are basically, in my opinion, kind of required to get the most out of the Mechanism mod, and we're going to be installing all of those today as well. First and foremost, though, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get an incredible 24-hour DNOS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you are looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, check out Apex, the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash apex. Now, let's get mechanism, but first, what does this mod do? So, well, it does a few cool things. Just a basic mod, adds in jetpacks, it adds in like robotic friends called the Robot. it adds in a digital miner, which basically basically filters through things and automates mining, which is pretty cool. It adds in a fusion reactor, but that does require mechanism generators. There's other transmitters, transmitting fluids, gases, and energy, and even heat. So all that cool stuff. It's basically a factory style mod for Minecraft. Mechanism's addition adds in things like baby mods, baby mobs, excuse me, obsidian TNT, glow panels, balloons, all that stuff. Obsidian generators is actually a power generation system, allowing you to do solar, bio, like, bioenergy, reactor, turbine power, all that stuff is set up here. And then we do have mechanism tools, which adds in a few cool tools to Minecraft and uh, allows you to make tools out of some other ores and things like that. So cool stuff there. Let's go ahead and get these downloaded. Now the download process is going to be the same for all these. I'm going to show you how to do it for the first two, and then I'm just going to do it. I'm not going to walk through it on the next two. So mechanism here, if you go to the description down below, you'll find all four of these mods linked. Click on all of them, open them all up, and then download them. So we're going to be starting on mechanism here. Come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down. You'll find Minecraft 1.15 there, and then under that you'll find a mechanism version. As you can see here, it says 1.15.2 in that version. Click on the purple download link to the right of that. This is going to take you off to this page where after a few seconds, your download will begin in the bottom left. So as you can see, mechanism downloads in the bottom left there. It's safe to keep as long as it has mechanism in the title. Go ahead and click keep. Mozilla Firefox, it'll pop up in the server screen. Ask you to save it. It is safe to save the file. Now, we're going to do this one more time. So mechanism additions here. Come here, come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down, find that Minecraft 1.15 section, and then under that you'll see Mechanism Additions, and then it'll say 1.15.2. Click on that purple download button to the right of that. It's going to take us off where, again, after a few seconds, the download will begin. It'll come in the bottom left where we will need to keep this file. Save to save as long as it has Mechanism in the title. Click Keep, and almost the Firefox, you guessed it, save it in the same your screen. Now you're going to repeat this process again, right? One more time, or two more times, excuse me, once for mechanism generators here. So I'm not going to walk through it necessarily. I'm just kind of doing it. I know people, some people get mad when I walk through every single mod when there's a lot of them like this. So I'm just kind of doing it, moving a little faster, moving this show along, if you will. And then we're going to do it one more time for mechanism tools here. Download it there. Wait a few seconds. Keep the file. And then we're done. We are done downloading the mod itself. But we still need to download the mod loader. And that's going to be Forge here, right? So if you go to the description down below, I don't know what link number it is at this point. But if you go down in the description below, you'll find a download Forge link. Click on that link, and that's going to take you off here. This is our in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing Forge in Minecraft. It goes over a lot of stuff, but we're going to be installing Forge in this video. If you have any issues, though, this tutorial will help you out. So come here and click on this green Download Forge button. Then it takes us off to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure it says MC 1.15.2 there. If it does, we're good to go. If it doesn't, no worries. Click on the plus 1.15 section on the left-hand sidebar, and then click on 1.15.2. That will open up this right here, where under Download Latest, we want to click on the Installer button. That'll then take us off to Add Focus, where stop, you don't want to click anything on this page. Stop, don't click a thing on this page whatsoever. Your download is not ready. It is lying to you. All you want to do is click the red skip button in the top right. Just click that red skip button in the top right. When you click on that, it's going to automatically start the download in the bottom left. As long as it says Forge in the title, you are good to go. If it doesn't say Forge, click Discard, click that red skip button in the top left, or top right, excuse me, top right, that red skip button in the top right, and then click Keep, as long as it has Forge in the title, in the bottom bottom left. Then on Mozilla Firefox, same thing as it has Forge in the title on the Snapper screen, click save and you are good to go. Now finally, if we minimize our browser, you will see a beautifully clean desktop for me. That's because files are being a little weird. Watch this. Boom. Click on that. All those appear. That won't happen for you, but these probably won't be on your desktop either. As you can see, we have Forge, we have Mechanism, we have Mechanism, and we have Mechanism, and we have Mechanism. So we have all four Mechanism mods there. You should have four Mechanism mods, and we do have Forge to load all of those mods. But if these aren't on your desktop, they're going to be in your downloads folder. And to find that, click 
the little Windows icon. It's in the top left for me. It's probably going to be the bottom left of your screen, but that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Click on that and then go ahead and type in downloads, right like so. You then have this downloads file folder in Windows. Click on that and in here we'll find mechanism and forge, all four mechanism mods and forge dragging your desktop just for ease of use. Now, once you're on the desktop, we're going to be starting off with forge. To do that, right click on it, click on open with, click on Java Team Platform SE Binary and click OK. However, if you don't have Java, it might not be Java Team Platform SE Binary, it should just be Java or something there. Java, click on that and click OK. And if that doesn't work or if you don't have it at all or if these don't even look like this, you don't look like Java icons, they look like zip files or books or whatever. What do you do? Well, no worries, we have a solution, of course, and that solution is this right here. This is our tutorial on how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. It goes over every single step of getting Java set up and running and working with Minecraft mods correctly. So go through this tutorial. It's up to over a million people at this point get the correct version of Java. However, if you do go through that tutorial, it's still not working. You need to run the jar fix. And what this is going to do is make all the .jar files on your computer work with Java once again, basically link the jar files and the mods or and Java together. So jar files and Java come together to make a beautiful connection and work together. So now we can go ahead and minimize our browser. Finally, we can right click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. That's then gonna open up the mod system installer for Forge, where we wanna click on Install Client and click OK. It's then gonna go through, do everything that it needs to do to get Forge set up, working, and running in Minecraft 1.15.2. Two, boom, there we go. As you can see, successfully installed Client Profile Forge version 1.15.2. That is awesome. Now we can click OK and close out of that. Finally, it's time to work towards getting mechanism installed. To do that, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. Oh, there we go. Open up the Minecraft launcher. And then from the Minecraft launcher, you want to click on this little drop down to the left of the play button. See that? Click on that. If you have a Forge profile, click on it and click play and then skip this next part of the tutorial. However, if you don't have a Forge profile, click on the installations tab up here at the top of Minecraft and then you want to click on this plus new button here. See that? Plus new. Click on that. Now you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our own incredible Minecraft server. It is a network server with two awesome grief protected survival servers. We've got medieval survival with a player based economy and 30 custom quests. We've got aquatic survival with a slash shop based economy. We do have a custom skyblock with OP enchants, fence generators, 1.8 PVP, and so much more. And then of course we do have factions which is brand spanking new, completely awesome with mob coins, faction power boost, custom enchants, so much awesome stuff. Every rank has a kit. You will absolutely love it. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now under versions here you want to click on this drop down box. In here you'll find release 1.15.2 forge. Go ahead and click on that and then I'm going to change our resolution. Once you've done that, make sure it does say Forge right there. If it does, click Create in the bottom right. Now finally, you'll have a profile. Under it, it will say 1.15.2-Forge. Ours is the play.breakdowncraft.com profile. And if it does say Forge under it, highlight over it and come over and click the green play button to the right. Everyone, the hard part is over. I know that was a lot to go through to get this mod set up and installed, and I understand that. And I'm sorry about it, but that's what you gotta do. You gotta do all this prep work to get the mod set up. And now it's super easy. It is smooth sailing from this point forward, right? So what we need to do from this point is once we're on the Minecraft main menu, right? Once we're on the Minecraft main menu here, we want to make sure Forge is installed. It is in the bottom left. What you want to do is click on the mods button on the main menu. Now I have Intertech and advanced finders here. You won't have these, right? These are from a previous tutorial and I forgot to delete them. So sorry about that. But what you want to do is click on the open mods folder in the bottom left. When you do that, it'll open up this folder. Yours will be empty, right like so. Now what we want to do is take mechanism, mechanism tools, mechanism additions, and mechanism generators, and drag and drop them into the mods folder, right like so. Now if we come back to Minecraft, these aren't here, and they're never going to appear until we restart the game. So let's go ahead and quit Minecraft. This time it's much easier to open though. Just open up the Minecraft launcher. It should already be selected, your profile down here with 1.15.2-Forge. If it's not, click here and select it and then click play. Now Minecraft will open up with the mechanism mod installed. As you can see, we do have mechanism, we have mechanism tools, mechanism additions, and mechanism generators all having their deep scans completed. Basically, making the mods are recognized. They're there and they're getting set up for us to play in game. So pretty awesome. Whew, that was a lot. I feel like that was a lot in a tutorial just to get to the point where the mod is installed. I don't know why. Like, I, you know, we, we have tons of different mod tutorials on this channel, and I feel like that one took a while. But anyway, long story short, here we are. If we click on the mods tab, we have all four of our mechanism mods. But most importantly, let's jump in game. We're going to create a new world called Mechanism. 
and then we're going to jump into creative and click create. I'll see you after this world has been generated. So here we are in game. Now, as you will know, this spread right away. Mechanism is currently in alpha and is not recommended for widespread use in mod packs. There are likely to be break game breaking bugs and various issues. So that is one thing. This is an alpha at the time I'm uploading this. If you join in, it doesn't say that it's no longer an alpha, but yeah. So if we go ahead and hit E here and click over, we will be able to see mechanism and all of the stuff it adds. And it is truly a lot of stuff. I mean, we have tools, we have custom plastic blocks and just so much stuff that it's kind of overwhelming everything that this adds. We've got cold dust and lapis lazuli and all that stuff. Does this add more ores? I forget if it does. Some mods add ores. Some require, you know, you to uh, actually kind of have other mods that add those ores in. But um, let's see here. Seeing, I don't think so. I think it adds in cold dust and maybe you can make like tin and things from that. This is where just enough items comes in handy and we do have a tutorial on how to get that on the channel. But nevertheless, Here's all the tools. We do have the advanced smeltery and all of that stuff. We're also going to have some of the generation blocks in here. I believe we'll also have like solar panels and things like that somewhere. There's just a lot of stuff. Let's see, heat generators, turbine generators. There we go. You can make, for example, full wind generators. And then, um, yeah, all of that stuff. Turbine venting. There's the solar panel. So we can do stuff like place down the wind generator. There we go. We've got some wind generation power going here. Can we place these that close together? I think they're hitting. That's very unrealistic. Very unrealistic. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Look at that. It's barely not hitting each other. And then if it was real live, we'd put another one right there, wouldn't we? Yes, we would. We would We would max min this the most we could. But nevertheless, there is that. You can place down solar panels. No, okay. That's right. You need something for solar panels to go on. I just forgot exactly what it is. Yeah, there we go. So we've got the solar generators. And then we've got the advanced solar generators. We've got the solar neutron activator. Right, so we could put like solar panels in between the windmills if we wanted to, right, like so. Boom, boom. There we go, whoa, those are serious. And these do actually make a noise as well. You all can't hear it because I have game volume turned down, but there, there's a noise there. So that's pretty cool. And then you can link all this together, obviously, and like batteries and things like that that need to store the power, right? You can actually do that here. Let's see if we can find something maybe to store the power. I've not used this mod in a while, so. Give me a break if I can't really find what I am looking for here. I don't know. I forgot how you are going to store the power, but that's why the mod does have an in-depth wiki that you can find on the page there. So yeah, as you can see, we are generating power. 80 key KFE here. We can lock it if we want to, disable it, enable it, all that stuff. Awesome stuff. So there we go. Generating power like a boss. Awesome. So there you go. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It means a ton to us and we hope you enjoy these awesome mods because why not? I mean, I'm so happy to see just incredible mods coming finally for 1.15.2. It is awesome. So I did have a suspicion that these would turn off at night and I actually think they have. As you can see, producing a zero. But if we do time set day, for example, these will go ahead and I believe start generating power again. Maybe not. Hmm. I don't know. But there you go. Have it. Enjoy mechanism in Minecraft 1.15.2. You got any questions? Let us know again in the comment section down below. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown and I am out. Peace.